Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a pretty big haul because I went shopping. So this is kind of going to be a collective slash random haul because I have um, I bought three different yeah I bought three different brands <clears throat> that I want to talk about and yeah I have tons of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the bagel box where I've been keeping all the stuff. Like I said, it's a collective haul. I didn't just buy this at once. Um, I'm going to start really quick with Ulta first because this is the smallest uh, place or the, the least items that I have. So I got this little bag because at Ulta they had, if you purchase Ulta products over $19, then you get a free bag with some goodies inside. I'm going to show you the three things that I am most excited about though. So I recently found these Matt's Lipid... <laughs> what? I recently found these matte lip creams and these are by Ulta so it's the Ulta brand and these things are amazing. I am wearing a combination of these two on my lips right now and they are just heavenly. This is the one that I am in love with and this is in the color Tender. It's really really pretty. It's a really nice pretty much like a peachy nude color and then this one is called artistic which is more of a baby pink and it is gorgeous these are so amazing they're really buttery too they're not over drying and then the third one that I got is called steering and it's more on the dark side it's that one right there for some reason it kind of I was kind of hoping that it be that it'd be like a close dupe to Salem by Lime Crime. I'm not sure if it's going to be. I need to do my research about it. But nonetheless, it's a really pretty color. Now these do take a while to dry on the lips. They don't instantaneously go matte. But it does take a while for them to just dry on your lips. And I got these for $9 a peach. A peach. <sighs> these for $9 a piece. And yeah, I really like them. And then the second thing that I got from Ulta is this Ulta Illuminating Powder. I saw that they had these and all of them were pretty much sold out. So I figured that this would be something good. And this has a gold finish to it. It's super creamy and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's what I'm wearing on my cheekbones or the highlight today. And Oh, this is breathtaking. This is so pretty. They have another one that has peach undertones. Unfortunately, that one was out of stock, so I went with this one, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So the first thing um, that I want to talk about is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. So this is pretty much a big thing right now on YouTube because it's compared to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. So you're getting eight shades and it is on the pricey side for it being drugstore. It's about $25. One of my best friends is an esthetician and she gave me the hookup. And I actually got this for cheaper because she's considered a pro, so we got a pro discount. And I was just really curious about this because a lot of people say that it's good, a lot of people say that it's bad, so I just wanted to give it my personal opinion. If you guys would like to see a full review on it, comparing it to the Anastasia Contour Palettes, let me know and I will do a review for you guys. So the next uh, thing that I got from NYX are these four intense butter glosses these are new and i saw kathleen lights do um swatches of these and i fell in love with them so i had to get some so the colors that i got are in chocolate crepe tres leches i got apple crisp and toasted marshmallow these are absolutely gorgeous i have been using them because let's get it real i cannot buy makeup and just have it sitting there forever and not use it so as you can see with one swatch that's enough this is um toasted marshmallow it's a really pretty color and they smell really good which is another thing that i love about nyx and then this one is tres leches which is a really pretty nude color as well so these are going to be a glossy finish versus these that are a matte finish. So that one right there is Tres Leches. 
I really like these and again the pigmentation is pretty amazing. Another thing that I got is the new NYX Stay Matte but not flat or actually I don't know if it's new but it's pretty new to me. It's the Stay Matte but not flat liquid foundation. I do have their powder that I've owned for the longest time and I honestly love it. I got this one in the color Sienna which I was totally off totally off that's the color right here and it's way dark like so yeah <laughs> that was too dark now another thing that i got is their new uh conceal and correct and contour uh concealer so i've heard a lot of people saying that this is a dupe for the mac one which i personally have never tried but if it's a dupe for it then I'm all for it. I have been using it and it's a little bit drying. I feel like you have to really work with it and just warm it up with your fingers or maybe apply a little bit of like vitamin E oil which is what I like to use to make it a lot creamier. But you get a lot of different contour colors which you can use it to correct, to highlight or to just um, contour. I don't know if I said that already. But I really like it and it was pretty inexpensive. So. Yeah, I really like this one as well. So the last thing that I got from NYX is the Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. So I do have the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, the one that's tinted. But I've been wanting something that's clear because sometimes when I want really um, like intense, really dark eyebrows, if I use that gel, it sometimes takes that darkness away. So I wanted to try something clear, and it's this one right here. I really do like it. The only thing that I don't like is that it's very wet when you apply it to the brows. So, I don't know. It feels kind of weird, but it does dry, obviously, and it feels good afterwards. It leaves my eyebrows in place, and I like to keep these little hairs standing up. So that helps to keep my hairs under control. So the last things that I have are all from e.l.f. and I went a little bit crazy and I placed a big ass order on e.l.f. because they had, I think it was like their best selling products for 50% off or something like that. So you know that I had to take advantage. I love e.l.f. I honestly and truly enjoy their products. I mean, hit and miss with some of them, but for most, I really like them. The first thing that I got is this little makeup bag and I thought it was going to be a lot smaller. Um, but I think it's okay for me to just throw in my bag. I know that it's kind of big, but it's really cute and it's really like sturdy, I feel like. It has little compartments in the inside so I can like store maybe like my mascara or lip glosses or anything or yeah just really anything they had a different color I don't remember which one it was I think it was black but I think it was sold out so I got this one and I really like it it's really really pretty so I got that just to take with me um, you know if I ever go out somewhere so yeah and then I got some more so I will just be pulling these out randomly so I got these e.l.f. lotion wipes and these are in the color, <laughs> the, the color, these are in Sweet Mango. I've been wanting to try their wipes for the longest time. I do have some on the back, those green ones, and I really like them, but I don't know, I just wanted to try them out and it said that it was one of their best sellers. So I got this one and I haven't used them yet, so we'll see how these work. And then I got a whole bunch of their eyeshadows i've never tried these these are from their one dollar line and these just come like this it has a little eye with the eyebrow i've never tried tried them like i said but my sister had one of these and she wore this eyeshadow look it was like a gold eyeshadow and it looked so pretty on her and it was super pigmented and she was just saying how much she loved it so yeah i went a little crazy so another thing that I was excited to get, and I haven't used this one either, this is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I've heard a lot of people saying that this is actually really, really good to set your under eye concealer. So I was definitely curious to try it out. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, and it's really, really small. It's really, really tiny. So we'll see how that works. And then I also got... A lot of the elf blushes I have a couple of them and I really really like them they're really pretty and they have great pigmentation I also got a elf baked eyeshadow in the color chocolate dreams 
I used to have one of these and then I broke it and I never replaced it. And these baked eyeshadows are really good. I love them because you can use them wet or dry. But if you use them wet, you get so much more pigments out of them. And you get a lot of product for the price. These are really good eyeshadows if you've been on the hunt for baked eyeshadows then I think you're going to like this one. And then I also got some mineral blushes. You guys saw me do a haul a couple of months ago, I think. And I ordered some of these uh, pressed mineral blushes. And these are pretty amazing. They last pretty much all day long on me. And I have oily skin, so that says a lot. And the colors are so pretty. This one is in the color Jet Setter. Um, let's see, I got another baked eyeshadow, and this one is in the color Enchanted. Ah, uh, this is going to look so pretty. I, yeah, I'm like super excited about this one. If you can see that, it's really, really pretty. So, that was that. And then this is another pressed mineral blush. This one is in the, this one is in the color Wonderlust. And... It's a little bit more mauve-y. I love blushes if you can't tell. So, yeah, I'm excited for that one. Um, let's see what else did I get. I have so much stuff. Oh, I got this e.l.f. Studio Eyebrow Treat and Tame. And this is pretty much like a gel, like a clear gel that you apply underneath your eyebrows to help them grow. And then this side is the Tame. Yeah, the tame part, which is a dark brown. I got the darkest one. I actually used this today on my eyebrows. And this stuff is amazing, you guys. Like, I am so impressed. I've never tried any of Elf's eyebrow stuff. And this is bomb. If you can even see that, I will try to do a close-up. But it has a whole bunch of, like, little fibers in it. So if you've been maybe trying or if you've tried or if you wanted to try the Benefit Give Me Brow, try this first because I feel like my eyebrows felt so much fuller and it just grabbed onto every little hair and made, made them look thicker. So I actually really, really like this stuff. I got another blush. This is Blushing Rose. This one is so gorgeous. It's what I'm wearing on my cheekbones today and it's pretty. It's a really nice, like, like a rosy pink. And again, it has those little um, gold reflex. And ah, uh, this stuff is amazing. I love it. And then I also got a lip lock pencil in the color clear. So pretty much this helps you with feathering. If you have trouble with your lipsticks feathering or if your lip glosses feather out a lot, um, you're supposed to apply this underneath and then... You don't have to worry about any feathering. I haven't tried this one, so we'll see if it's true. Um, let me see what else did I get. I have so much stuff. Oh, yeah. I got one of these little um, shimmering facial whips. I have one already in the color Lilac Petal, and it's so pretty. I love these. Really, really love these. And then the last thing that I got is this Press Mineral Blush. So another mineral blush. And this one is in the color Sweet Retreat. This one's just more on the soft pink side. It's really, really pale, so hopefully it shows up on my tan skin. So this is actually the last thing. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Mist, and this is... Um, I don't know if it's a setting spray or what it is, but I used it underneath my makeup today. I really liked how this made my skin feel. And this contains um, witch hazel, rosemary, chamomile, honeysuckle, aloe, and vitamin B. So it has tons of good stuff in it. So that is everything that I got. I hope this video is not like 20,000 hours long. Um, let me know if you guys want to see an in-depth review or if you want me to talk about any specific product that I just mentioned over here. And I will gladly do that for you guys. So I think that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.